What's going on everyone? Logan Stone here, and I'm back at it again with another video. Actually a fitness video. I think this is the first fitness video I've filmed like in a month or two. Uh, fitness videos are hard to edit, but I've said I'm gonna start making more videos, pushing the content out no matter how I feel. I'm gonna get it out, and I'm actually excited to make this video. So today I'm gonna be talking about my 10 favorite uh, protein sources, which I think are personally the best protein sources uh, for building muscle, getting stronger, recovering from your training sessions, um, preserving your lean mass when you're dieting. Just my 10 favorite uh, protein sources, my go-to protein sources. Of course, there are other great protein sources out there. I'm not gonna like, uh, I didn't put in this video. This is just my personal 10 favorite. And the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people ask me, what do you eat? Like what kind of, what do you eat for protein? I figured I would share it. Also, I can give some good ideas for protein sources because a lot of people, they don't know where a good protein source is. A lot of people think that peanut butter is a good source of protein. And really, the 7 grams of protein and like 16 grams of fat, it's more of a fat source. I'm not saying it's bad, but you don't, it's not a main protein source, right? These are actually like legit protein sources. And I figured I would share that today, just talk about how I incorporate them in my diet, the context I usually eat them in, how I can like switch up the foods for bulking or cutting, how you can do that too, different like variations of the foods, but just all that stuff. But all that being said, let's get right into it. All right guys, so the first protein source that came to mind has to be chicken, specifically chicken breast. And I usually put it in my air fryer or you can grill it. But the uh, reason why I like this, it's a very lean source of protein and it's, um, it's a naturally occurring uh, pro a source of protein from chicken, right? It's the animal protein which have all nine essential amino acids that you need in order to basically sum things up. Your body produces so many amino acids. There's nine amino acids that you need to have uh, from, you need to get from um, your diet. And chicken has all nine of these. It's an animal protein, but it's a very lean cut of protein. It tastes good. You do all kinds of stuff with it. Usually I put it in rice or pasta, sometimes I'll eat it on the side, but um, you can season it different ways and make Mexican chicken bowls, teriyaki chicken bowls, that's just how I like to do it, but chicken is definitely a go-to protein source, whether I'm bulking or cutting. More so when I'm cutting though, I would say, because it's a very lean source of protein, so that's the first one I wanna talk about. All right, so the next uh, source of protein is gonna be another one that comes from chickens. It's gonna be eggs and egg whites. So I just have some eggs right here, as you guys can see, I don't want them to fall along the crack, but I have some eggs, and I got some egg whites right here. So they're technically different. Essentially, the egg whites is just uh, the whites from the egg with the yolk extracted, and um, it's just lower in fat. So essentially, the reason why these are great is because they're another naturally occurring source of protein. If I remember right, I think like, they're one of like the, I think it's like one of the best digested uh, protein sources that your body like will. It's one of the best uh, protein sources that your body will like, completely digest. So, um, eggs though, whole eggs, they're also a healthy source of fat. Now, I think there's like seven or six grams of protein in an egg, and there's like five grams of fat. So, it's kind of a protein and fat source, but it's a healthy source of fat. It's a great source of uh, healthy cholesterol too, but essentially, they're both good. Egg whites, they're pretty much pure protein. Um, and one serving with three tablespoons of like the liquid, there's five grams of protein and no carbohydrates and no fats. So how are you gonna incorporate these in your diet? So usually these for breakfast, obviously, I mean, who doesn't? So when I'm cutting, I'll lean more towards egg whites and I'm bulking definitely more towards whole eggs. You want some fats in your diet, so maybe like instead of having like uh, two or three eggs in the morning, which I usually do when I'm bulking, what I'll do when I'm cutting is I'll have some egg whites and one whole egg just to put a little bit of fat in there. Another a good thing that I like about egg whites is that they're a lot more calorie dense. There's a lot in their very voluminous food, so they're very filling, but both these are great sources of protein and I definitely recommend them in your diet. The next source of protein is one that isn't quite as common, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be wild game meat. So essentially uh, free range games like deer, elk, um, Bison, those are all good ones. You can also eat pretty much anything like um, ducks, doves, birds, uh, javelina. Personally, my favorite is gonna be elk and deer. And the reason why I eat game meat is because I myself, if you know me personally, I'm also wearing a hunting jacket. I hunt and 
obviously I don't put my meat to waste. I use it and I eat it. It's the right ethical thing to do. But essentially, with uh, game meat, it's it's a very great source of protein because it's very nutritious. It's free range meat. Um, I, I know elk, if you compare it to beef, it's more nutritious and micronutrient and mic micronutrients. Um, I know that elk has a lot of B vitamins like uh, B6, B12. Right here, I just have some elk, by the way, but has like some essential brain vitamins that are a little bit harder to get, and you pretty much can get a lot from elk. Another pro too of game meat is that, especially elk and deer, it tends to be a lot leaner. I think like in one, I was looking at like, I don't have the exact numbers, but I was looking at um, steaks in comparison, like a top sirloin of a, of like a um, beef compared to elk. I think elk literally had like one or two grams of fat and the beef had like um, 10 grams of fat. Like it's five times leaner when it comes to steak cuts. But it's a very great source of protein. Uh, it's also very ethical to consume because it's basically free range. The animal's gotten to live a healthy life outside where it's had a chance to live and just had a good life free. It wasn't like in a slaughterhouse the whole time, so I think it's very ethical to eat uh, game meat as a source of protein. And it's basically, like I say, it's a, on top of two of these animals, like they basically are, like Joe Rogan says in his podcast, the elk are superhumans. They're basically these beasts that run around the forest fighting each other with giant swords in their heads and they're these majestic animals. So they're like, they're, it's like soup, they're basically like super athletes. When you're eating them, you're like eating a super athlete nutrition. And um, there's a lot of pro body roles they even use. I think Guy Cicerino preps, he said he preps with um, venison. I know Branch Warren does, so it's actually not just me that eats it. A lot of pro body roles actually eat this too, but great source of protein. Definitely including in your diet if you can. The fourth source of protein I want to talk about is going to be protein powder, uh, specifically whey. Now, right here I have some ISO 100 whey. It's very good. I have a free pebble flavor right here. Tastes very great. Love it. It's more expensive though, so I don't really recommend this to buy if you're on a budget. If you're going to buy protein in stock, I recommend getting gold standard from Costco because it's at a much more reasonable price. But essentially, Whey protein is good because it's another protein that's easily um, digested by your body and it absorbs well. And I think it, it could definitely be quicker acting too with post workout. But whey protein, generally much lower in fat too, it depends what you get. But this one, this is ISO whey, so it's pretty much like 25 grams of protein, one gram of carbs. Um, most are like similar to this low in fat, low in carbs, higher in protein. And one pro protein powder is that you can put it in a lot of stuff, you can flavor stuff, you can flavor oatmeal, you can flavor shakes obviously, but it's really easy to get protein in. If you're a guy that's eating a lot of protein like I am, I'm consuming like roughly 200 grams of protein a day right now, having protein powder makes it much easier. So you have like one or two scoops of these a day, it makes it much easier to get protein in your diet. You don't have to like carry like chicken around if you're going to class and just make a shake, shake it up and drink it. But uh, protein powder is great. This ISO stuff is great, but it's expensive. I just got it because I saw it at GNC. But usually I use gold standard because it's cheaper. But uh, protein powder, great source of protein. The next source of protein I want to talk about is going to be ground meats. So essentially, meat that is like from animals and ground it up so you can make ground meat, like ground meat and burger meat, all kinds of stuff with it. But essentially ground meat. So uh, my favorite specifically, I would say are ground elk or deer, game meat, because it's slightly leaner, and uh, ground beef and ground turkey. So these are all very good sources of protein. They're all very easy to digest. You can make some great foods with them. You can make tacos with them. You can like put it in your rice, do all this good stuff. And usually, I like I said, I prefer game meat just because it's like leaner, a bit leaner, and it's, if I hunt it, I don't have to buy it at the store. But I like the taste of ground beef. It tastes great and I believe it's more nutritious than ground turkey. It's another great source of B vitamins and, and uh, micronutrients, but ground turkey is another great one too, guys. One pro of ground turkey over ground beef is that's a lot more affordable. So if you're on a budget, I recommend maybe getting more ground turkey and a bit less ground beef, but they're both uh, any kind of ground meat that's later, like 93.7, 95.5, um, whatever, great source of protein. So if you're wondering about higher fat percentage, like ground meats, like 80, 20 or whatever, um, 85, 15. I wouldn't say they're bad, but if you're trying to get a source of protein, this is where the way you want to go because these have some fats in it, which you need essential fats. But when you get to the point where you have like 
higher fat ground meats, you're kind of going more towards a fat source. And especially if you're cutting, I don't recommend that in your diet because having more fat is more calories. Not saying fat is bad, but um, just you want, you're gonna have more of a protein source. So ground meat still, leaner ground meat cuts, great source of protein. Definitely try them out, you'll love them. So now I've talked about like the more basic, stereotypical bodybuilding protein source, you're gonna see like chicken, ground beef, uh, eggs. I'm gonna talk about some of the ones that you don't wanna see a ton of bodybuilding in as well, just like more everyday protein sources that are maybe good for your uh, convenience and just everyday life. So first one I wanna talk about that I personally like a lot is gonna be uh, lunch meats, so leaner lunch meats. So uh, right here I have some farmer strong cooked ham, so it's like 1.5 grams of fat and 9 grams of protein and two slices of this. So these are not like lunch meats because you can put it on sandwiches, it's a portable source of protein, it's uh, pretty calorie dense, so when you're bulking trying to get some protein at night, good source of protein. It's a little higher in sodium, but honestly I say it all the time, if you're training hard, you're drinking a lot of water, you shouldn't really worry too much about sodium, you'll be fine as long as you're not consuming too much. But I also will chop this up, put in my eggs in the morning, basically I have ham, eggs, scrambles, tastes amazing. But yeah guys, this is like another good source of protein, leaner. So if you're traveling a lot, you like sandwiches, definitely get some leaner lunch meats, great source of protein. Uh, I also like turkey a lot too, but uh, lean lunch meats, great source. All right, so this next source, I unfortunately don't have anything to demonstrate with because I had it in my fridge and it just expired, so I had to throw it out. But the next source I'm gonna talk about is gonna be Greek yogurt, specifically uh, low-fat Greek yogurt. It's like fat-free or like 1% fat. But Greek yogurt's a great source of protein, guys. It's another dairy source of protein. It's a dairy source of protein, which um, generally means it's gonna be a bit slower digesting. It's gonna have a more casein in it, which is a more slower digesting protein. So it's a good protein to eat before bed, for example. When you're gonna be sleeping for a while and you just want a steady protein in your bloodstream, a steady uh, protein in your system. But essentially, Greek yogurt's great for that. It's also very filling when you're cutting. It's one I tend to eat a lot more when I'm dieting rather than when I'm bulking. Um, you can also like make protein pudding with you mix your protein pack, you all kinds of stuff with it. So Greek yogurt's another great one. Uh, high protein, low fat, relatively low in carbs, but it's not very high in carbs. So it's another great, uh, just more so source of protein rather than anything else. So definitely include it in your diet, guys. I recommend it. So I've kind of gone over basically like the protein sources. Like I said, the last like seven or so that are mainly protein sources. There's gonna be some fat and carbs in some of them obviously, but I just basically went over the primary protein sources. The next two are gonna be ones that might have a bit more carbs and fats, but they're still a great source of protein. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is gonna be milk. So uh, typically, I prefer to go with 1% low fat milk and um, 2% sometimes. So milk is a great source of protein again. It's another uh, dairy source, which is a complete protein. Gives you all nine amino acids, it gives you all the amino acids that you need. And it has, it's, it has some casein in it too, so it's another slower digesting protein. But um, tastes great guys. I'll, I put them in my oatmeal sometimes. I make protein shakes with it, mix with protein powder. And milk is very nutritious too. Great source of calcium, great vitamin A source. Even has, it actually surprisingly has, has almost as much potassium as a banana does. So it's actually a very great source of micronutrients too. There's a reason why I say it's good for bones because it has a lot of minerals and micronutrients, vitamins that are great for your bones. But uh, it's another great source of protein. It has some carbs too. 1% milk is usually a bit leaner in the fat, but usually it has like 10 or so grams of carbs. But if you're bulking, I say go for it guys. I mean if you're, yeah, if you're cutting, maybe go with fat free milk. But if you're at a point where you shouldn't be drinking milk, having the calories you probably don't have it. But I say generally speaking though, great source of protein. Try it out. This is the ninth source of protein, which is one that's definitely higher in fat, is gonna be cheese. So cheese is um, higher in fat, but I like personally like those proteins, I personally like to use it as a protein source when I'm bulking because it gets some of the fats in for more calories, but at the same time, I'm getting protein in too. And I, it's not like well, I'll use it as a main protein source, but I'll use it to top off a meal, for example. I'll put it in my ground beef and rice bowls. I'll, I usually especially put it on my sandwiches or on my eggs in the morning. So uh, another good source of protein though, because it's another uh, 
complete source of protein which has all the amino acids you need. I believe it's dairy based so there is casein in it too, makes it a bit slower digesting but uh, it's a great taste of this protein. Would recommend it if you're cutting. You probably don't want to have cheese when you're cutting just because of the fat content in it. You don't want to have some more uh, filling foods. But um, definitely a great source for bulking and I love it. We're down to the final source of protein. You're probably wondering what's going to be the grand finale. What's the best source of protein ever? And one thing I'm going to say right off the bat is I didn't particularly rank the protein sources in any like, specific order based on how good they are. I put the lower uh, fat and carbohydrate ones first just to show like some of the meat sources of protein you can get. I also kind of did like what I use in my staple source of protein. Like I had to think at the top of my head, I'm like, okay, what I usually use? Chicken's the first thing I usually use to go to. Uh, then my eggs, game meat sometimes. Then I would say protein powder. But those like are, I kind of just based on like one of my, when I what came up in my head when I thought of protein source off the top of my head. So there's no like particular order. Like I said, all these have their pros and cons. They're great for bulking or cutting. But this um, this final source of protein is basically gonna be whatever you like to eat that has a decent amount of protein that fits your calories and your macro goals. So whatever it might be, maybe it's the trace amount of protein in some of these foods you eat. Bagels, for example, I don't know how your carbs, but there's 10, there's 10 grams of protein in a bagel, and that's honestly a good amount of protein. Peanut butter, I know I said in the video it's not a great protein source, but it has trace amounts of protein. It could definitely contribute to your total amount of protein throughout the day. So, what do you like to eat, guys? I think that being flexible in your diet is important. Generally, you want to eat healthier, yes, but at the same time, you want to enjoy your food so you can stick to it long term. And whatever gets you your protein, hits your macros and your calorie target that you're aiming for, I would say it's a good source of protein, guys. But uh, that's basically it guys, those are my top 10 favorite sources of protein. Like I said, they're not really ranked, they're just more so like what came off in the order in my head when I was thinking of them, or what my go-to sources of protein are. There's obviously many other great uh, sources of protein that I didn't list in this video, like fish for example, seafood, but I don't eat that much. I'm not saying I don't like it, but I just don't eat that much. But um, that's basically it guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, incorporate things in your diet, let me know how it goes. Send this video to someone who doesn't know how to eat protein, uh, doesn't know good protein sources. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.